In this video, I show you how to treat wooden furniture damaged by woodworm. Now you need to check all over your chair, but more often than not, woodworm on furniture is found on the bottom, the back, and the bottom of the legs. Now it might look like there are not too many holes on the surface, but it could be riddled with worm inside and I have in fact had a chair where the leg has snapped because it was completely rotten, completely eaten away inside. But I don't think this chair is. So what we need to do is have a really good look at these um, holes. Now, if they're old holes, they look darker. And if you tap them, nothing's coming out. If you have a hole and it looks pale inside, it's quite possible that it, the worm is still there, it's live or it's recent. So if we tap this one, you can see how the dust comes out. Okay, so I now need to give these a good dose of woodworm solution. Now you just need a good woodworm killer which will come in a liquid and you can just pour it over the holes give them a really really good dosing to soak it in um, and then I'm going to give it a second coat and stipple it in with a brush really really get that work that into all of those holes check you've got them all and you can see them once you've got the liquid on they actually show up much clearer so be very generous with your liquid. So on the second round, pour it over again and with your brush just stipple it or rub it, just work it really well into all those holes. Well, you probably won't have an inside on your furniture um, but if you do check inside as well and you can see on the back of this piece of wood um, where the liquid has actually come through so if it's coming through that should be getting any worms that are left in there um, just check all bits there's a, a bit on this bar it's old worm because it's dark um, but I'm going to treat it anyway and I will, once I've finished, leave it and treat it again tomorrow and then leave everything to make sure it's really, really, really dry. I've now left this to dry overnight and I'm going to repeat the whole process again. So just soak it on the first coat Stipple it in with a brush for the second coat. Check it inside and out. Cover any wormholes that you can find. And leave it again to dry. And then it will be ready um, to fill or paint or whatever finish you want to put on your piece of furniture. Because I'm going to paint this bench, I'm going to coat the wormholes with a fine coat of filler. It just gives a better base for the paint to go into. You could, if you weren't going to paint your piece of furniture, use a wax polish and you can get that in different coloured stains, light oak, dark oak, pine, and you can just work that a few coats into the holes. I will also leave a link below for homemade wood filler, which I have used. I'm just using commercial filler on this bench because it's, it's gonna be covered and it's quicker than making your own homemade. But if you wanted to try it, um, the link will be below. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell to see more videos. Good luck with your project.